The mayor of Athens, Clark County, Kelly Gertz, knows this, but held a press conference and lied to his people's faces. This term sanctuary city doesn't have a sole legal or procedural definition. Liar. Many of the elements will be time for liar. questions. You're all guilty and got blood on your head for this murder, sir. And no policies have been adopted Please by the mayor and commission You're that have created sanctuary down. city status sir, in Athens. You need to resign. One protocol resign that sometimes now. arises. Resign, resign now. Resign. You allow One protocol. this to happen. You're fired. You're fired. You need to go, sir. We don't want to hear from you no more. You're not defending us. You're not upholding your oath of office, sir. You are lawless. You are a crim criminal. We created this government, and we pay your salary. You do what we want you to do, not what you want to do. Americans are sick and tired of being lied to by pathetic politicians who think we can't read the laws they write behind our backs. We investigated Georgia law. The state prohibits sanctuary cities. But these wicked little mayors, like this guy, while everyone's distracted, create loopholes to prevent their towns from working with ICE. So they can brag about how kind and compassionate they are towards migrants. And then when Americans are murdered by migrants, these fringe libs lie and cover their hides and claim, oh, we're not a sanctuary city, even though they bragged about it five years ago. Watch. And whereas white nationalists and xenophobes have been emboldened by some politicians and members of the media, and we recognize that our entire community, not just people of color and immigrants, is harmed by the existence of white supremacy in our community going unchallenged. And whereas our immigrant and undocumented neighbors, especially those of Latinx heritage, face daily fears and threats from individuals and institutions such as ICE, and whereas for the Athens community to be whole, it is necessary that families and loved ones remain together and that all people, including those without documentation, feel welcome and comfortable. You see, Kelly welcomed illegals, shut out ICE, now an American girl's dead. It wasn't white supremacy that killed her, it was white guilt. And we don't care what color migrants are. America is the land of immigrants. But protecting criminal illegals from deportation doesn't make you look like you have a big heart. It makes you look like you have a small brain. And anybody who uses the phrase Latinx is a joke. This guy Kelly, who just said it's not a sanctuary city, then says we had to make it a sanctuary city to protect migrants from Trump. While 2019 was not that long ago, you might remember the dynamic we were living in in the late teens in this country where you had the President of the United States speaking in the most vile terms about people who were foreign born. And you had that notion oh, metastasizing in places like Charlottesville. This, this guy's blaming Charlottesville for Biden's migrants murdering his city's college kids. This man's got a migrant fetish. He wants to protect illegal aliens more than American citizens. Even after a migrant killed a girl next door, he says there's no such thing as migrant crime. I caution against conflating immigration and crime. The data demonstrates that the two are not connected. All right, this man's an idiot. You want to know the data that connects illegal immigration and crime? Lakin's dead body. That's all the data you need. Jose's a bad hombre who shouldn't have been in this country. Migrant crime is so much worse than what's reported because sanctuary cities hide it. All the American cities, the big ones, are sanctuary cities, and they don't report migrant crime to the FBI. Plus, the government labels all these migrants white. Look at the police report. The cops classified Jose as white. He's from Venezuela, doesn't speak English, names Jose, and he's white. So you can see the Associated Press headline right now. White Athens resident arrested in the death of solo female jogger. This is getting insane. Jose from Venezuela, God knows how long his rap sheet is there, caught and released at the border in New York and in Georgia. Now a girl's dead and the left is protecting the reputations of the migrants instead of the lives of Americans. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution just went up with this headline, quote, not fair, after UGA killing Venezuelans in Georgia, worry about backlash. Oh my gosh, the poor illegal immigrant Venezuelans who broke into the country are worried? Well, the Venezuelans should be worrying about the backlash. 
The media is worrying about illegal aliens worrying instead of worrying about how to stop Venezuelans from killing us. How about they worry about that? Bring in James Lee. He's a father of five who lives in Athens and confronted the mayor today. What is wrong with your mayor? This mayor is a left wing nut job into wokeism. This mayor has violated his oath of office. He is supposed to protect Athenians, citizens of Athens, not protect illegal criminal aliens. And by the way, they're not illegal immigrants. Immigrants are people who come here legally. These are criminal illegal aliens. James, when you let them have it, what was the room like? Because it looked like people were supporting you, even law enforcement. I was surprised. Uh, I was ready to be dragged away because I was going to say what I was going to say. I was mad and upset over this senseless murder. And to my surprise, there were a lot of supporters. I didn't know them at all. We met for the first time, and, and they spoke up with me. And the, the reporters were pretty, uh, pretty not abrasive against me. So. Yeah, I, I picked up on that, too. Usually you get dragged kicking and screaming like that. It looked like they were yes. willing to let you have your say. So you're a father. You have four daughters, one son. You just have a young girl yep. murdered in cold blood by a criminal alien who never should have been in this country, bailed out time and time again by Two sanctuary Two miles cities. away. Two miles away. How do you feel as a dad? I, I, I was outraged. First of all, I can't imagine what this father's going through, losing his young daughter who had her whole life ahead of her. If that was my daughter, I think I would have done a little bit more today in that meeting. <laughs> that mayor would have had a black eye walking out of there. But uh, I, I tell you, Jesse, we, we, need, we need help from above. We need help from God Almighty to combat this current evil within our government. I agree. Remember Santelli on the floor of the exchange yelling and screaming about the government spending and it kind of sparked the Tea Party? You did that today with the sanctuary BS. You did that. Your voice did that. Yep. And it, it was a voice that was heard loudly around this country. So I want to thank you for, for raising your voice and confronting this liar who just lied to their face. Hey. I want to thank you, Jesse, for allowing us to have a voice. And you don't get the uh, credit you deserve as a patriot and a real journalist. And uh, I would just like to say this, Jesse, the motto of the American Revolutionary War is the secret to our success in America. And that motto was no king but King Jesus. All right. God bless. James Lee, thank you so God much. Bless Stay you, strong Jesse. down there. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.